everyone, this is Brit of Brit in Toyland coming to you with uh, my top five hopes for the Avatar The Last Airbender lines, both 5 inch and 7 inch, from McFarland for 2022. It's a sort of better late than never list, but here we are. Obviously, we've already had a few come out in the 5 inch line with uh, Toph, Iroh, and Avatar State Aang. And then technically also uh, the seven inch line with the gold label Avatar State Ang as well. So I'm going to go from five to one, my least to most wanted uh, of the top five figures I would want to see in the lines uh, for 2022. So we're going to start with the five inch line. So obviously we basically have the whole game now except for Suki. So perhaps a little hint as to who I'm hoping to see. So at number five, we have Fire Lord Ozai. Um, I'm not particular on if he's in his royal garb or if he's in like his Phoenix King outfit or when he's basically just torn off all his clothes except for his pants to fight Aang. It's a bold move, bold move. Uh, but yeah, it's good, it'd be good to have, you know, the big bad, the main villain of Avatar The Last Airbender in the line sooner rather than later. Uh, whatever variation that might be. So at number five, I have Fire Lord Ozai for the five inch line. At number four, I have Tai Li, of course, one of Ozai's angels. Uh, obviously, again, one of the major secondary characters for Avatar The Last Airbender, and this would be the first time we have a Tai Li as an action figure uh, in any of the lines so far. McFarlane ended up being the first to come out with the uh, very first Iro action figure, so let's do the same with Tai Li. At number three, we have Azula, sticking with the Fire Nation theme here. Uh, Azula, of course primary antagonist overall complex amazing character so of course we want to see her in the line uh, so far we've only had the diamond select azula which is uh based on her sozin's comet look when she's uh gone just a wee wee bit insane unfortunately the face sculpt on that one i find doesn't quite capture the look of insanity that uh that the show did so yeah, and besides that point, I would hope that uh, they'd first do a sort of normal slash regular looking Azula, as normal slash regular as she can look as the princess of the Fire Nation. So number three for Azula. Then at number two, I have May. Uh, May is like in my fourth favorite character of Avatar The Last Airbender in my top five. She's I relate to her a lot. She's very special to me, so I would love to get her in the line. Again, it would be the first time we'd be getting a May action figure uh, in any toy line for Avatar The Last Airbender, so long overdue. I think she'd make a great figure, especially with the knives. And, uh, you know, I think that would be one where you might want to break out some soft goods, just given the, uh, the width of her sleeves and how, like, long they drape down. It might be good time to include some soft goods. I don't know how much of a penchant McFarlane has for using soft goods when necessary. I don't think very often, but make an exception for May, please. So May at number two. And coming in at number one, we have Suki, of course. As I said at the beginning, Suki's the last uh, Team Avatar member we need to complete. Team Avatar in the five in line. Oh, Momo! We don't have Momo! Sorry, Momo. Okay, well, hopefully someday. There are a lot of Momos. I can throw one in. Anyway, uh, back to Suki. Yes, the uh, final member of Team Avatar minus Momo, who are you missing? Uh, again, hasn't been an action figure of Suki yet, just the Funko Pop. So, uh, you know, McFarlane, making more female characters, making never-before-done characters. Suki, she's right there. So is May. So is Ty Lee. Right there for the taking. So, anyway, that is my top five for the five inch line. My hopes for 2022. So, we're going to move on to the seven inch line. So, just to recap, we have had a book one 
Aang. We've had uh, technically three book one Zukos, although one is technically like a book three flashback Zuko. But uh, yeah, we've had book one Zuko. Uh, we've had the, uh, I believe it was the silver or was it gold label? Gold label, I think, was the helmet, the helmeted Zuko. And then I think the silver one was the book three flashback with the uh, bandage Zuko. And now in 2022, we have had the Avatar State Aang in his book one and two gear. So let's go over the my top five hopes for 2022 for the seven inch line. So at number five, I have Uncle Iroh. Uh, with the way they pulled off the uh, five inch Iro, minus sort of some instability in the feet, uh, I'd be very excited to see him in the seven inch line, especially like a fully articulated one, maybe some like really cool fire bending effects. You know, he came with a, a nice lightning effect, and I was quite pleased with how they did the uh, the hand sculpt to make it accurate to the the two fingers together pointing outward for the lightning bending uh, pose. So I'd be eager to see something similar there maybe even like a if they wanted to do you know more of these gold label sil silver label ones they could do like a fire breathing iro like we see in book two doesn't have to be his book two uh jasmine dragon outfit but any kind of uh iro with fire breathing would be very welcome uh but i probably want to see his book one outfit first just to see that in seven inch and see how it articulates at that uh that scale and that level so yeah number five is uncle iroh and at number four i have suki again of course i just she would make such an awesome action figure again this would maybe be an instance where you'd want some soft goods for the sort of bottom of the dress she wears yeah, maybe they could pull it off with plastic if they have like really wide, long slits on either side of the outfit. You know, it's it's a hard it's hard to say. It kind of works with the five inch Katara, but again, that's like less articulation in the five inch, so you don't know how how well that might work in the seven inch. But definitely Suki. Again, it would be her first action figure. The makeup, the Kiyoshi garb, the fans. It's just such a unique figure, and I think people would go crazy for it. So, number four is Suki. Coming in at number three, I have Sokka. Uh, this would be uh, in his book one outfit, just to start off with. But, of course, any variations are welcome. You know, I think they did a good job. McFarlane with the five-inch Sokka they did. Um, certainly better in comparison to the Diamond Select one. The face sculpt just really did not look like Sokka. It's a bit bizarre the way things have been going with Sokka. They've given him very determined, serious looks and expressions on his face, which in the picture I've chosen, like, he does have a serious expression. But given that he is often a more comedic character, you'd perhaps expect something a little more neutral or even a bit of a goofy smile, though uh, they seem to be giving Aang that treatment in most toy lines except for the seven inch when they went way in the opposite direction of anger for that book one ang but yeah i you know again i think mcfarland has done the best uh Sokka figure so far especially in terms of face sculpt so i'd be eager to see what they could pull off with the uh seven inch line on the subject of these face sculpts i suppose the only hope would be that they stop doing such angry faces for all the characters. Like Zuko, it kind of makes more sense. And like, you know, Avatar State Aang, okay. It was maybe still a little extreme. It's more of a determined stoic expression. But hopefully they uh, they make those faces a little more neutral, a little more happy. I don't know, because it's 7 inch and they feel like adult collectors. You're going to want angry faces for all the characters. But I don't know. Either way, Sokka at number three. And at number two, I have Toph Beifong, of course. Greatest earthbender in the world. Uh, again, the five-inch top they put out, uh, even with its limited articulation, I thought was fantastic. The face was great. Uh, even just the earthbending effect that they put with it and the posing you can do with their arms and the fists. 
so so good uh i'm really eager to see what they can do with the fully articulated seven inch version of toff uh, i think they could do really amazing things with it so definitely high on my list and hoping to see our toff bayfong hit the seven inch line in as many forms as possible run away blind bandit with or without the earth rumble sticks belt all of the above all of the above and at number one, of course, it's not a surprise, it's Katara. Book one, book two, book three, all the Kataras, every version. You know, Brian Kanitsko and Mike DiMaricino, creators of Avatar Break, have said that uh, in their opinion, Katara is just as important as Aang. You know, she's basically the main character alongside him, so... It's really only natural that she uh, she comes next in the seven inch line. A lot of her. I want gold label Kataras, silver label Kataras, many, many Kataras, as many as possible. The great soul and heart of Avatar, the last airbender, Katara. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary pals. Thank you for listening to my top five wants for the seven inch and five inch McFarlane Avatar The Last Airbender lines. Uh, you know, a couple have come out already and we'll see, we'll see if we can check off any of these from my list as we uh, go through the rest of 2022. But uh, in the comments, let me know what uh, your hopes and wishes are for the Avatar The Last Airbender McFarlane lines. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.